I really would love to thank you for, for your time you, you gave to us. And um, I would love to know what triggered your activities. What happened that you, that you went to say, I need to do this? I knew about it from 1959. Uh, in 1960, the end of 1959, 1960, I went to my first military class on microwaves. And the very, very first lecture uh, that I went to, the teacher, then the military teacher, said, if you want children and you want a healthy life and you want to live to your retirement, do not expose yourself to low-level microwaves. And whenever we had to uh, adjust the electronics or do something to the microwave equipment, it had to be turned off, the switch was padlocked, you gave the key to an officer, a senior officer, uh, and then you could work on the equipment. It, it was that dangerous. So, in the 1970s, 1960s, 1970s, when microwaves were being used as weapons by the Americans and the Russians, uh, basically to kill each other. Uh, that didn't surprise me. That did not surprise me because I thought, well, it's an indetectable weapon. and and. When you die, you can blame God and you can blame the environment, but you can't blame the person sending it. And you can send them uh, from one country to another or, or across the road, but it, you don't even know you're being exposed. And I thought, well, that's not a nice weapon because they were carrying out experiments on women, which I, I quoted, uh, where they could make breast cancer, miscarriages, Men would have leukemia, children would have leukemia. They were all experiments uh, from one country to another. On prisoners, uh, people, tramps that they find on the streets and whatever. So, and I thought, I don't like where this is going. You know, we have a weapon now which is, it's not germ warfare, it's not atomic warfare, it's, it's killing people with radiation. Uh, and, I, and I thought, I, I don't like this. And then in 1972, the military and the police uh, were given the same microwave set. And I, and I thought, well, this is dangerous because they're using the same frequencies that are used for weapons. And we're going to kill the very people that trust us and we trust, like the police, and the ambulance and the military. We trust them to save our lives and they trust us to look after them, us being the government and everyone. And I thought, well, the government are intentionally sacrificing its own police, its own military, people giving their lives for their country. The government are intentionally giving them brain tumours mostly, or breast cancer if they're women, um, just for the convenience, without telling them. If the government said, the same with Tetra, airwave, if the government said, right, you are going to be using this, there is a percentage of you that will develop this and this and this because you will be susceptible to the microwaves. If you choose to do this, sign the contract and here is your job and everything that goes with it. But they're not telling them and that is what I object to. They are letting people, and it's in my Tetra report, confidential report, and my higher confidential report. They are letting people use the equipment. They are letting them develop cancer and die without telling them, without giving them the choice. That is what I object to. If you go into the military, as, as I did, again, the very first lecture, you are going to go into wars in, in my case, Borneo, Aden, British Guiana, 
you are going to go into wars, people are going to try and kill you. That is a, your job. I was bomb disposal, people are going to try and blow you up. That is my job, I accept that. But when you don't tell people, that is what I, I objected to. So I started my objections there, purely because of the thousands of people that were going to die just as they reach pension. You know, they, they've worked for 40 years, 50 years, they're just going to get their old age pension and then they have a, a long-standing brain tumour that can take 30 years to develop and then they die just at the time they want to retire. Uh, and I just thought that was wrong. And then they came out with cell phones in 72, 73, 74, different people have different eyes, with cell phones and we're now giving them to people and children. And of course, children are much, 60% more susceptible than adults to the harm of this. And pregnant women are even more susceptible to this. And I got, uh, I asked uh, some colleagues that I knew, because when I was debriefing spies, um, you make a lot of friends. When, when you talk to spies for 11 years, you know, you make a lot of friends and, 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 and they have a lot of friends. Um, and you make a lot of contacts in, in lots of governments. And I started asking a few people that I could trust and they said, well, we believe the same as you. You know, we know where this is headed. Uh, we believe the same as you and we're trying to stop it. Um, and I was got information sent to me uh, saying, and, and but the one that really did it, to answer your question, I'm sorry it's been so long, the, the, one, the, the one that really did it were, were two or three papers, one from the American government saying that we must set a safety limit that nobody can argue against and we can win in court that one and that we must basically if anybody asks say this follows the safety guidelines when it of what we lay down um, and I knew that was designed to kill people because the following sentence says uh, and you have the document now uh, that the following sentence says to pro to protect industrial output money. Yeah. So we are killing people to protect industry. That is what it comes down to. It's, it's, it's hard to believe that this is the, it's yeah. only about money. And then you had the World Health Organization yeah. conference in uh, Poland, Warsaw, 350 pages, 350 pages, that was followed with two big documents of 2,000 studies, basically on each, yeah. all saying, all saying that these microwaves are going to kill the children, kill the trees, kill the animals, kill the people, but not everybody, but it's going to kill quite a lot. Uh, and then just these really four, four documents uh, and I thought, well, I'm going to do something about this, okay. and, uh, and and, and I, I, I'm I've been doing something about it now for 40 years.